welcome to math cc hello friends as there is always a need of help in calculating or solving mathematics questions on different levels i am here for the same today in this video i am going to solve chapter linear equations exercise 7.1 of class 7 question number 1 so if you guys want to see the solution of earlier chapters that is integers fractions and decimals you can go by the playlist uh, you will find the playlist after subscribe uh, subscribing the channel where all the solutions are available moreover i have solved many chapters of class 8 maths book of same publication house the chapters are rational numbers exponent square and square roots cube and cube roots playing with numbers linear equations percentage and its applications algebraic expressions factorization of algebraic expressions probability quadrilaterals surface area and volume so you can watch all the solutions by going through the playlist so let's not to the time check it out how to solve Question number one of linear equations chapter X I seven point one of class seven. So question number one says which of the following are linear equations in one variable? So first thing which should be cleared for linear equations are linear equations in one. Variable. What does it mean? Linear equations in one variable. What does it mean? So it means what? An e equation, any equation involving. only one variable whose whose highest power is 1 is it clear what does it mean any equation which has to contain only one variable means if x is there it has to contain only x if y is there it has to contain only y if x plus y this type of equation is there it would become linear equations in two variables so for linear equation in one variable it has to be very much clear that the equation has only one variable and its power should be equal to highest power would be 1 so this is the definition now let's move to the question number 1 so question number 1 is which of the following are linear equations in one variable first part is given as 9x equal to 10 so if you see this only one variable is given to us that is x and highest power is what is one no other power is given to us so it has highest power as one so we would write yes it is linear equation in one variable because one variable only one variable is there that is x and highest power is one hope the question is clear now come to the second part second part is 3x square equal to 40 so is it linear equation in one variable no it it is not linear equation in one variable of course only one variable is there but it it's it has the highest power 2 so why because it has highest power as Now come to the third part. 
third part is 2x plus 3y equal to 6. Is it a linear equation one variable? Of course, no. Because, why? Because more than one variables are there. More than one variable. More than one variable means x and y, two variables are given to us. That's why it is not linear equation in one variable. Let's move to the fourth part. So fourth part is 14x plus 6 equal to 8. It is linear equation in one variable, yes. Because one variable is there, that is x. And highest power is 1. One variable is there, that is x. And highest power And highest power is 1. Now let's move to the fifth part. Fifth part is 6x square minus x equal to 20. No, it is not linear equation in one variable because highest power is two. Sixth, p square plus p equal to two. So is it one uh, linear equation in one variable? No, because same highest power is two. Let's move to the seventh part. Two x square plus three x equal to six. It is also not linear equation one variable because highest power is two. Eighth part x by 4 plus 1 equal to 6. Is it linear equation in one variable? First solve it. Take the LCM. x plus 4 equal to 6 means x plus 4 would be 24. So x would be 20. So yes, it is linear equation in one variable because it has one variable and it highest power is 1. Now let's move to the ninth part. 9th part is given as 3x minus y equal to 1. That is 3x minus 3y equal to 1. So it is not linear equation in one variable because two variables are there. Two variables are there. Now let's move to the 10th part. 10th part is x plus 2 plus x plus 4 equal to 9. So take the LCM first. 4, 2x plus x equal to 4. So x would be what 16 by 3 so yes it is linear equation in one variable because only one equation one variable is there and highest power is one now let's move to the last part that is 11th part so 11th part is given to us as 14 x plus 6 15 y minus 2 as it is clearly given that two variables are there. So it is not linear equation in one variable as 
two variables are there. So hope the first question is quite clear. If any type of doubt is there, feel free to ask your doubt by commenting into the comment box. So it was all about question number one. In my next video, I'll be solving question number two of linear equations. So if you guys like my videos or if it is somewhere helpful to you, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and share the videos as much as possible. Thank you so much.